would like general insights into her love life, um, marriage, relationships, everything um, in regards to her love life. Let me the clarity. Cleanse the, this crystal we have here. Speak through the cards that we have right here that I am cleansing right now in this moment. Provide clarity. Cleanse my aura and spirit. Thank you, divine spirits. Thank you, God, for all of um, your blessings. Thank you for coming through into this reading with us. We are going to begin the reading now. Thank you so much, spirit, for coming through this reading. All right, let's get started. I'm going to pull five cards from this Rider Waite tarot card deck. I'm going to pull three from the Crystal tarot card deck, and I decided I'm going to pull four from this Angel card tarot deck before I begin. Something is telling me to begin with the three Angel card tarot deck, so let's begin. Okay, um, Spirit, can you tell me about Kristen's current love situation. Tell me about her current love situation. Is this the card you want me to pull? Yes. Divine Intervention. Wow, this is the best like card you can get, actually. I've had this card myself in the Crystal Card Tarot deck. I'm going to move this aside for a minute. Um, the, gold, the gold card. This is actually like a symbol. I'm not sure if you're religious or not, but it's a it's Jesus's aura it was gold. Um, divine intervention. God sends miracles to answer your sincere prayers. So whatever you've been praying about, whether that's a relationship or a marriage, um, dating, casual dating, whatever you've been praying about, it's on the way. It's coming. Um, just be patient. May not be in your time, but it'll be in God's time and divine timing. It's coming. It'll be there, okay? Um, and I'll go in depth and read that description for you in a moment, okay? From the guidebook. So, all right. That's an excellent card to come up for your current situation. What else? Um, is there something that Kristen is seeking or... What is it that Kristen is seeking? Something is telling me to go with this one for what she's seeking. What is it that she's seeking right now? Ah, interesting. I got the lady, the lady of lightning, surprises, sometimes shock, a total paradigm shift. Okay, so you're wanting something different than your current situation. Um, let me look more into this. Number 35. Okay. So powerful forces of change into your life. She's an ally. There's going to be a sudden shift in your current circumstances, or at least that's what you're wanting. Um, something you weren't anticipating, an opportunity of a lifetime, or a series of aha moments will be culminating and everything changes, bam, just like that. Maybe someone enters your life and just things start changing, um, pushing you to new heights. You may have a brilliant idea that hits you just like lightning, like in this picture right here, with the sparks. Um, be prepared. Change is imminent and a total paradigm shift may be upon you. Don't resist the changes as this is the kind of lightning um, you don't want to fight. Great things are happening when the Lady of Lightning appears. So, hmm. Spirit is telling me, like, this is what you're wanting. I'm not sure if, like, that knight in shining armor, like, if, like, you want, like, a guy to sweep you off your feet or, like, someone to enter your life and, like, do a total 180 or something overhaul. Um, I don't think that's going to happen right now because you need to, like, work more on yourself. But, like, I do feel like a change is coming. Um, I don't think it's not yet right now. And, like, this is just... What you're wanting because this card came out when I asked what is it that you're desiring but it doesn't mean that that's like the reality so let's see let's pull something else out so we got the card for you know your current situation which was your prayers will be answered in the right time what you're wanting is a change okay and then so what, what's coming next in Kristen's love life? 
Hmm. The Ice Queen in reverse. That's really interesting. That's super interesting. I have to clarify that. Or the Challenger. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I feel like this is telling me like, okay, here's the ice queen. Okay, this is what it's saying. It's like, see how there's like lack of movement, she's asleep, and then there's an owl that's about wisdom. But it came in as a challenger and it's in reverse. So it's about your ideas and your belief system. So I feel like it's kind of like, so let life go, let life flow as it will, release your hold on relationships, your, what is your belief system about relationships? Like, how is it holding you back from even having a relationship? What do you want from a relationship? Have you clarified what your goals are? Have you, do you know what you want? Have you written like your ideal list of a man? or a woman what do you have what is holding you back like maybe you're holding yourself back in some way so this there's kind of like some blockage here that you need to work on in yourself like um you're kind of like subconsciously or consciously like holding yourself back i feel like it's more subconsciously than consciously so you need to um challenge your own inner belief system and write out that list if you haven't done it already like the ideal person but be realistic about it too and also write like what you have to offer the partner as well and be really clear about it that way you can attract that person too in your life um okay so i said i was going to pull four angel cards i pulled two what else do we need to know about kristen's love life right now or in the future so tell me something about in this moment that she needs to work on in order to attract love in her life what is it that she needs to work on right now in this moment in order to attract love in her life okay okay this is a good one this is very similar to what we just talked about inner conflict morality conscious choice the dragon's duel like reconciling what your values are going to be your value system your beliefs what are you wanting out of a relationship, right? Um, that's something you can do right now while you're like waiting for the right person to come along, while you're waiting to meet them because, you know, that can be really hard to meet the right person. Um, so it's this the duality that we all experience, right? Sometimes we have like conflicting opinions about things. It's um, faith and doubt, love and fear, right and wrong, black and white the that that tension of opposites that we all have right um so now is the time to inquire about like where your soul is leading you um, and resolve that inner conflict so yeah it's like clarifying your values it's like what we talked about again um in the card with the the ice queen like you don't want to be this person that doesn't take action and it's just like chilling there like she is right <laughs> so and is standoffish because that's not going to attract what you want right um but the good news is you have this card of answered prayers coming so um you're you just have to do the work so when you do the work and be patient it's gonna it's gonna happen so okay so those are the four angel cards i wanted to draw now i want to do crystal cards three crystal cards so tell us about what can Kristen expect? Well, some spirit's telling me to ask about healing right now. What type of what type of healing or what crystal card, what does she need right now to prepare herself for the right love in her life? Show me the card. Something is telling me. Show me the card to prepare herself. Right, what can she do right now? Show me the card. Show me the card for right now. Show me the card. Oh, okay. Oh, 
this is a good card. Here's something you can do right now. So, so delight. It says, socialize or join in. Make healthy and supportive new friendships and connections by getting involved in a group of like-minded people. Okay, so maybe you could join like a meetup group of singles or something. Um, and like go like to the hiking group or the tennis group. It doesn't even have to be like the singles dating group. It could just be like the the hike, the local hiking group or tennis club or something, you know, something you're interested in or like arts and crafts. Um, this is something you could do to put yourself out there and um, while you're doing all, you know, the other things that we talked about. Um, okay, and then let's um, see if we want to, you know, delve into that a little bit deeper based on what it says. Yeah. Basically, in the book, it says it's a sign for you to get out of the house, away from the computer, meet people with common interests, join a club, could be a religious group, support, friendship. Yeah. So, develop new friendships. Um, okay. You could even, it even says you could even meet someone that way, like tied to your higher like life purpose or passion, but I'm not getting that message for you. I'm getting more just about... Um, meeting people, just socializing. So that's what you need right now. So tell us, Spirit, what does Kristen, what is coming up for her in the next three months for her love relationship? What are we seeing? Next three months. Ooh, wow. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you, Kristen. Oh my God, answered prayers in the next three months. Answered prayers. All of your great work has opened up the door for divine solutions and support. Remember, divine intervention. Divine intervention, okay? God sends miracles to answer prayers. And all of your work, remember I talked about earlier in the other cards that you need to do the work. You need to do the work, which is here. Resolve the inner conflicts of your values. Don't fall into this. Ice queen trap, um, you know, resolve and clarify your values, right? The inner conflicts. So, wow, next three months, you might meet that, that right person. Next relationship could be the one, could be the next, the next relationship could be the one. The next boyfriend or the, the right person, the one, could be the one. But answered prayers next three months that's amazing so you do the work and you clarify what you want from that next person you're gonna see that guy come into your life next three months okay I said I was gonna do three crystal cards and we got them these are the three crystal cards that you got so in order we have your prayers will be answered in the right time, we have what you need to do right now, social, socialize and join in. And we have Unikite, answered prayers. All your great work in three months will open that, that door so you can meet the right, the right person. Um, let me pick five Rider Waite cards um, as well, just to see what's coming up for you. Oh, wow. This one wanted to come out. This is like the best card you could get. In the Rider Waite deck. This is pretty much like marriage and children. Marriage and children playing. I see that for you in your love life. That's amazing. Um, let's see. What other cards want to come up for Kristen in her love life? Show us. Show us the future. Show us the future. Let me let me get rid of the other cards. They're kind of in my way. Show us the future. Here, let me shuffle these. Spirit, can you show us anything else for Kristen in this reading? Oh, temperance. Okay. Okay. The devil. That's not a bad thing. That's like passion. And what else? Knight of Cups. And oh, wow. That's beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. I said I would pick five. Okay. All right. 
these are the five cards so we have the beautiful marriage that's <laughs> beautiful pretty sure that's the ace of cups it says that's always symbolizing marriage children with the rainbow and happy endings so um yeah we can count it one two three four five six seven eight nine yep ten of cups there we go it's the ten the ten of cups can read that to you the description yep that's what it says in the book marriage children <laughs> exactly what i was telling telling you about romance uh success and happiness achieving your dreams um all your desires and fears will be sorted out for love and relationships everything is going to be worthwhile yeah so that was that that was this card right here ten of cups so all right this one is a really good card that one came up this is like See, to me, that's like the romance, the wealth, the family, got the dogs there. I'll, I'm going to pull this up. It's a pentacle card. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of pentacles. So let's pull up that. Eight, nine, ten. Ten of pentacles. Okay, so it's the home. We have a child, an adult, an old man, a man, an animal, culture, civilization. So it talks about... The greatest riches, becoming aware of your own part in the affairs of the world. Okay, so for love and relationships, it's talking about you're going to be proactive in your community and you're going to have fulfillment in your life and be in this like coexisting, like co ecosystem. Like, this is you know, see the background of like that's the town and like the village, like you live there. This is the village, so. Everyone's going to work together towards a path of fulfillment. That's a, you're going to have like an awesome life. That's amazing. Um, married life, married life. And then I have the card of temperance, which is a major arcana card. So um, this one I'm going to delve deeper into here for you. Temperance is about balance. So it says finding the right measure and aiming for the highest goals in your life. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at that. Taking the path and it's going to be bumpy at times, but look at that beautiful crown at the end of the road. Um, for love and relationships, it says that your deeds, so like that hard work you do, you're going to recreate yourself like throughout this hard work and process like your relationship just because you have that like beautiful happy marriage with that rainbow it's still going to take work right um you know that's how all marriage is but it's important to let your partner know like as you're recreating yourself and growing and you know rejuvenating not just the relationship but renewing yourself you have to let your partner you know just participate in the process with you and grow with you um, in that journey as you are also growing and improving yourself like bring them up there with you okay that's what this card is about um so yeah and then it's just saying like replenish your spiritual reservoir so that's what this water is about Renourish yourself along the way as you are in your journey of self-improvement devil card when it comes up for a love reading is about passion like a hot sex life that's what i see for that and then knight of cups i'm gonna pull up over here right now knight of cups so ah mastery so it's saying you have, you have mastered like you have you're gonna be a master over the spiritual forces in your life and devoted and passionate with your partner so it's talking about deep sublime passion your heart and mind are like fully into this relationship and so dedicated like see how he's like marching ahead full forward ahead the the horse's head is bowed down in obedience and is so like you know that you can tell this horse belongs to this knight and this knight is holding out this cup 
joyfully. Like I have no qualms and no problem openly giving my cup, you know, to my partner. And it's like having an open heart. Okay. It's like the, the cup, my cup is open for you. So that's what this card is about. It's, it's beautiful. It's like deep passion. My heart and mind are open for you. So I hope you enjoyed that reading. That's beautiful. Blessings are coming your way with the answered prayers card in three months and the divine intervention. God sends miracles to answer your prayers. So I hope you enjoyed the reading.